don't bother me again. See, when I first played this, obviously, the first playthrough, they beat my ass every time, and they just go, ha, 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 yeah, ha. come back, and then Kiryu stood there, got winded, going, he's the one who's winded, going, give me back my money, please. <laughs> it's like, um, you played Spider-Man PS4? Uh, yes. And, uh, Taskmaster appears. Oh, yeah, and he just beats your ass and every he, time. you're like, yeah, I can do this, and he just beats the shit, are you? And you're See, like, oh, you can okay. counter every single one of your moves, yeah. because he's Taskmaster. That's his whole thing. Yes, I've got like 1.5 billion yen on the next video. No, you got like 2 billion yen on the you know? Hell yeah. I'll buy more shit, don't worry. But first, let's see if it's scotch and... Kiryu, can we point out, is a very brave man. Why? Walking around with like 20 million dollars in his pocket or whatever it is. Is there anyone here who can actually take it oh, off? Oh, sweet potato show shoe. Perfect. And then... That's just regular whiskey. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some anyway, because it's good for my, uh, the way back. Perfect. <gasps> Thank you for shopping with us. Oh, okay. Now we get to make friends at the convenience store. Clerk. I was all confused because it just said her name was Staff. <laughs> I was like, is this a character? Uh, yeah. Takes a while to get used to it and learn about the different products. Good luck. You're much kinder than you look. What kind of look do I have then? I say, sternly staring her down. Um. <laughs> what has he done? He's walked up. Give us some money. Oh, you're much nicer than you. It was a transaction. He does give off the look. It's the suit. You have to remember, like, he's... Oh, no, but I mean, how nicely does he purchase things? <laughs> that she goes, oh, you're much nicer than how you look on no, the outside. Se seriously, mate, it's uh, all the suit. Because he is re he's very clearly wearing the suit of a Yakuza. It's, like, an expensive, nice suit. So she just expected him to come in and, like, rampage her? Basically, yes. So that's like we should just be like fuck off and give me shit. So Lucas, I need you to keep in mind that we will return. We need to return to this shop periodically to talk Popo. and become friends with her. Pop so What other stores have we got around that we need to go We check? need some fucking scotch girl. Uh, Don Quixote. No, we went Don Quixote. We went Don Quixote. The shrine. Been there. The drugstore maybe. No. I don't think a drugstore would sell scotch. Uh, sells imported brands. There's another Popo. Oh, imported there. brands. That's uh, my clothing store. Uh, we'll go to Popo Street. There's another like convenience store there. The must have to find scotch there. So we check Don Quixote. Imported brands, I would assume. You know, scotch is imported from fucking Scotland. So. Yeah, I think that's where they sell like clothing and stuff. Else. Yeah. We'll head to the other convenience store because they all do sell different things. And like I say, it's, it's to encourage you to explore the city, and I think it does it to make you like you know find these side missions. Because yeah. Because you notice, yeah. like as we're walking around, we've like found three we've side got, missions. Yeah, we've found got... a few. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh my god, Lucas, do you know what just happened? Oh no, did he get robbed? He's just been robbed. Oh! Uh, and Lucas, I know we probably know the answer to his question, but is this a side mission we're going to cut, like, do? No, do, I, are, I think just like the kid, I have no, no game. Are we going to go, what, no. Lucas, what if this was Smash? If this was you, and that was Smash, and then this big, huge buff dude came and said, I'll go get it back. Let's go take it back. Yeah, we're going to do this. And the thing is, though, Lucas, what I need to know is, how hard are we going to beat the shit out of the guy who's did that? I mean, if you can go buy another orange. <laughs> <laughs> buy more oranges. <laughs> when I go into the, I'm going to go into the final battle against the final level off with 12 oranges. <laughs> right, so Akio. I'll get your game back. <laughs> Look how angry he looks. I'm not crying anymore. Good. I like that. Leave this to me. What we'll do is we're going to take the long way around, though. Because we're going to go to that store first. <laughs> we know where he's gone. We'll get your game back. Oh, cool. He ran that way. We're... Immediately bolts off the opposite direction. No, what I'm doing is look, look the community store here, and the mission is here. Oh, yeah, but... So we're going to cut him off. Can you imagine being that little kid? <laughs> Quick mystery, ran that way, went the other way immediately. What? I can realistically leave this as late as the one. Oh, well, I think we've got we on this one. I uh, don't think we've been in. I recognise that guy. Scotch whiskey! There, there we there. go. I like how they keep putting different show shoes there, just in case you forgot which yeah, exactly which one he wanted. Yeah, exactly which one he wanted. So you go, oh, that's show shoe. And I think he even has like a di line of dialogue if you go up and try and give him one that's not that. And he gets pissed off. So let's go fuck up this high school, though. Not now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Gang Goomba. Yeah, he got robbed by a gang member. <laughs> so he got beaten up. So Every <laughs> fucker wants this game. Where is this super rare? It's like the last one. Well, that kid got the last one in this area. I remember this mission, that's why I want yeah. you to do that first. It leads you all over town. Yeah. You could probably guess what happens to the next guy when we go track him down. I mean, I'm guessing 
like Mr. Strong Arm has just taken it from him. Yeah, he you? did though, just he did steal from a child, so unfortunately. He's still got a like absolute killer. Right, you have to die now. Thank you. You have to die. At the end of the day, he still stole the game from a tiny child. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Come on. Fuck you. Oh, oh, God. I, was doing that instead. Yeah. I, was, I was dragging him around to fight for us to throw him into. It's like, what can I throw you into? Oh, man. Imagine how terrifying that is, though. Like, he's grabbed yeah. you and he's just dragging you towards now, like, What past. can I find that's going to be the most brutal thing on this street? Oh, man. It's okay. Don't worry. He's very, very injured. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but I don't have it. I don't. Oh, God damn it. I like that. Do you want another beat in? He's just life bar still down, but I get to beat him up some By a better thief than me. You were robbed too. Street gang. It's gonna be one of them days. You won't see that the same look every time. Yeah. But it's, it's so charming. Ugh. Could be leveling up now, but my arrow Q3 is probably going to be some dude who's not even a fan. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't yours. How pathetic is that? <laughs> ah, no. Beat the shit out of him, get cute. Don't worry, I'll get it back for you. He's so happy, he's so full of like, like happiness, but we oh. can't not do it. You know what part of the side quest we didn't see? What's that? So when this kid stole the game from a smaller child. No, we saw him, he was in No, life. I know, I know. We know he had his allowance. Yeah. So we know it's, we know it's legitimately. That's my new head cannon for that child though. But he's a thief as well. Yeah. Oh, good damn it. <laughs> Low level. <laughs> so now we've got to chase that. Be the shit out of this guy. And then chase yeah. the Yakuza down. Then a high level Yakuza is going to beat down a low level Yakuza. The, my favourite part about it is, we know that that guy just stole it, but we still have to fight this guy, <laughs> even though we know. I don't give a fuck about it. I'm still going to beat him up because he's a thief, and a thief, like, there's, I don't think there's anything worse in this world than people who steal stuff. I mean, there's also people who stab people. No, but like thieves, like, Joe in terms of like things that make me so angry, it's thieves. Also, I'd like to point out that you might like serious. Every time you change fighting style, the, uh, oh, the PS4, oh, yeah. the glowy thing. The audience at home can't see the Lucas scan. I can now. But it's very hard to like. I'm look. So it's very hard to look at your controller when this is going on. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? It's like the one of like the guy who's glowing and like the brightness is turned to a thousand. <laughs> oh, he just no. says like nobody, nobody at all. My PS3 controller at two in the morning, <laughs> just glowing like the seat of a thousand suns. Well, one oh, he's my back. Look how fast he ran. One of my favourite implementations is uh, GTA 5. When you get a wanted level, it starts flashing like red <laughs> and blue. And you're sitting there in a dark room with it on like full. And the room just starts glowing like <laughs> police flashing colours. Oh, it reminds me of uh, when I was playing Rainbow Six. Uh, me and my mate were playing at like 4 in the morning. And we've got the MTAR assault rifle. Put the volume on full. And then just fired it as like first one. And I, sw I shit you not. The person next door woke up. <laughs> I, it's all you heard is just this machine, but the muzzle flash was just so intense. It was great. And it's a Some a hole got the jump on. Yeah. Me. I can't believe someone stole what I stole. I stole so hard. <laughs> Yak is a type. Hmm. Does the same thing. You mean that guy who was just here? It's okay. The room were three. So he's the final guy. Uh, this is like the third. <laughs> I like that. Third phase in the boss fight. You steal from a kid and then cry like a little baby when you get mugged. I've seen a pathetic pattern here. How about we go to... I like that. I've seen a pathetic person here. I'm not pathetic. Do you want another fight? <laughs> Literally. Wow. According to this game, every single thief is just a pathetic crybaby. Don't worry, Akira. I've got this for you. So he's down this road somewhere. My head So hurts. I don't know if you've ever, like, caught out someone who stole from you before, like, in school or whatever. But... In my experience, people who steal things and get them taken away are the saltiest people yeah. ever. It's like, how dare you? Yeah, how it... dare you take this thing that I stole from you? It's like when you accuse them of it and they get really annoyed about it. It's like, no, I know you did it. Yeah. That game you got there. Someone's trying to try steal my fucking Yu Gi Oh God. I see you. Fuck those people. I like that. Get off my street. Every last one. What is this world coming to when a little kid. Can't buy a video game. I take it back. Uh -huh. Alright, <laughs> shut up, it's complicated. Oh god, he's got a gun! Oh, no. He pulls out a gun! He really wants his video game, Lucas. He does. 
He's willing to commit murder over, over a video, video game. It's fine though, do you know why? You know what? I understand. If it was Smash Bros. There it is. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! That's the one! That's the one! That is the extra bit. That's, like, that's the murder shot yeah. right there. It's like oh. the brutal face, like pushing his face into the wall. That's, yeah. that's hard. The zoom in on the face, though, is yeah. so perfect. This cannot be a man kicked my head so hard into a vending machine, money <laughs> exploded out of me. Please, give it back. Come on. It was never yours to begin with. My little boy, he's really been like, oh no. Lucas, if you I can't mean, not. he could have waited in line as well. He had that opportunity. No, he says, my little boy. Arakai, what little boy do we know really wanted this game? Whose dad said he couldn't find it. Oh. I can't do that. The little kid saved his allowance and went through a lot of money to buy the last copy. And he's like, oh no. Some worthless goon. You got the game from a punk, but that game belongs to the little kid first. Long story short, you took his shit, I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's what happened. So, is it going to be, oh, I give it to the little kid and then his dad walks around the corner and it's this guy? Yeah, you've got it exactly. <gasps> yeah. Well, listen. Listen to the We Learn Something Today <laughs> music in the background. Oh, no. Thought, Sonic says. I thought I could make my boy happy with something I stole from someone else. I was wrong. He's learning his lesson, look. It's the kid's afternoon special kicking look, in. How am I supposed to be a good dad to my boy like this? I pulled a gun on a guy over a video game. <laughs> Wait, I'm a... what, Akio? Hi, mister. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, really? Yeah, I just killed your uh, your kid, your dad as well. It's a bit, like, his dad's walked it off like a champ. Yeah, you know? like a fucking champ. Uh, his dad's pretty tough, to be fair. I can see how he made it to the Yakuza when he could take or, a... Or Akio is now like Papa, and he's like, who are you? <laughs> I have brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember anything. Wait, buddy, yeah. He bought it with his own money. Why don't you say anything to your papa? Mama always gets mad at you, papa, for spending money on golfing and go-karts and board games. And I didn't want mama to get mad at you anymore. Oh, man. Family drama. He's kind of scared, but he's a really nice man. He pulled a gun on me. He's like, Akio, I'd have just gone and shot someone to get the game. Yeah. All you had to do was ask. But... If you listen to it, he does like he does have that chain pattern. Oh man, what am I, what is my life coming to? Yeah. If I'm stealing things from children. Yeah. Papa's not living with Mamma me now. He's lonely, so please stay friends with him, okay? So, oh man, the love of a child, so the innocence of this child is like melting our hearts. Oh, he's like, oh, yeah. your dad tried to get it back with me. Yeah. He helped. So Kiryu's being that nice guy. He's taking that hit and yeah. not saying like your dad stole it. He's like, no, your dad got it back from the guy who stole it yeah. from the guy who stole it from you. Your dad was helping you all along. The reason I love this mission as well is guess what he gives you? This is, this is to apologise of the sunburst. Yeah, it's a katana. Oh. It's a super good one as well. It's so powerful. <laughs> yeah, well, it came up sunburst and I didn't count the amount of stars that yeah. was next to it. It's a super powerful one. The annoying thing is though, katanas are the only weapon in this game that don't have a heat move attached to them. <laughs> Well, I, I'm pretty sure a katana heat move would just be stabbing the person. Yeah. Just cutting their arm off. In later games, you do get a katana heat move, and it is literally just stabbing people. I mean, I thought he didn't kill. So have I got everything I need for does all of them? Does he stab them in the perfect place to only let them bleed out a little bit? No, it's fine. It's the Batman logic. We've talked about this. <laughs> but I think I have everything for the homeless people now, correct? Yeah, we should do, yeah. Let's go back to the homeless people then and get in their booze. It's like Kiryu doesn't keep kill people. The lack of blood does. It's their own fault. <laughs> to be fair, it's self-defense. They attack me. Literally every single time. So this guy's wanted beer, which I have. Malts. Perfect. One can of... How good do you think it's going to be when I give him a single can of beer? And then, got and the then guy... you give someone a 20,000 yen bottle of <laughs> gold champagne. No, the guy who's got the bottle of whiskey is the guy who's got best off. Because really? he's, like, he's the biggest bottle. Champagne. No, yeah. You'll drink champagne. like. But also, like, you know, that homeless guy could have hustled yeah. for enough money to get that bottle of whiskey. You're beautiful. I don't think he's hustling to get like the bottle of gold champagne. It's just though when they're all stood there around drinking their drink, and he's got like one can of beer that's yeah. warm that I've like been carrying in my pocket for twenty minutes, and the other guy's like got a full bottle of whiskey, <laughs> really expensive whiskey as well. So he's got he's got his champagne now, so he's happy. Oh, that guy is all we need to. No, you can talk to them. They just say like thank you. Oh, okay. Sweet potato shochu. 
I think that's everybody now. Hell yeah. Look at that. They did like the Roman handshake round. Yeah. I'm not drinking tonight. I drank on the way here. <laughs> we were drinking on the street to get here. What was he one? Oh, you went the scotch, didn't you? Yeah. Perfect. Here's your scotch. Just as I put my hand through your chest. <laughs> like Carly Mark. <laughs> oh. That's what I want in return. Your heart. I take it from you. You don't need it. That haircut's amazing. The water of life. I love it. I'm going to ruin up now. Old man. Nice and warm. He's getting drunk off that one beer. This guy's a lightweight man. I'm fine, I'm fine. I can tell you, buddy. The Kiryu special. Hattered homeless man. Man, they, they go all out when they name these characters down. Get <laughs> paid tomorrow, and it's on to the next place. So what else did you want to know? So you're trying to find out like where Tashibana is. Yeah. Yakuza, you tell your do the same thing. I love this. They, 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 they are freelance homeless people. It's great. We don't care. The Yakuza, right? we know you don't care. You took money off me and I'm just a dude. I just want to know where they hang out. Champion districts. On Tiny bars. Alright, that's wrong. That's so, good. that's why we need to go next. The champion, champion district. district. Essentially, these first few missions that's are so just cool showing you around. Yeah. So we are learning, we are getting a story done, but if you've noticed, each individual thing we had to get took us to like all four corners of town. Yeah, yeah. So we had, and then it took us into all the regular stores. Tenkaichi out. The fuck? Yeah! Oh god. It's him. Baxter's training. We're gonna go talk to him, because fuck it. Because this story... What's back, he doing now? He just stands in his back alleyway. And that's all he does. With porn magazines, apparently. Hell yeah. Uh. Mate. What else would he do? <laughs> He's, all he does is drink. Here and there. Yeah, I've been what do you mean I've been training? I'm worth so much. Ah. Oh, deck collects on his tail. Two bit jokers. Yeah, so essentially he's been borrowing money off everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I'll spoil it. Um, at the end, it turns out like the reason Joey keeps saying don't get stabbed is because the previous like person he trained as like a boxing champion got stabbed. Over his <laughs> right. Because I was thinking, like, it's going to be the twist of uh, he was borrowing money from himself to get the debt collectors come after them. Mm. So Kiryu would fight them to train Kiryu. And I thought, like, the final guy would be like, well, who paid you to come after me? Yeah. Uh, you did. <laughs> but uh, it's not that. It's, no, he's legitimately just getting pissed and stealing everyone's stuff. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if you turned around and been like, oh, it turns out the backer mm. has actually been trying to knife you the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> he's just... Letting you get stronger and get more and more money, and then he's just gonna knife yeah, he you. He steals all my money. Stab you in the back and take all he's your money. He's the one who stabs me in the kidney. Yeah. I think the first move we teach you how to actually avoid being stabbed is that move. But I yeah. thought it was gonna be the twist at the end that he was hiring hitmen to go after himself. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like asking you to protect him to teach you these moves because he wants you to get stronger. Yeah. So essentially, Q's like, I will beat up this guy because if I just stand back and let him kill you, that's like, you know, not great. What does he do the day that Kiryu isn't there when one of these dead guys shows up? Kiryu is always there <laughs> at the exact point where he needs help. Mysterious hitman. He's got a gun. Don't worry though. Dodge. You've got beat. Now for this. Whoa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, it's on your side. He's <laughs> oh, just so harsh, isn't it? Ugh. Ugh. But we sent a hitman after him, what happened? Well, I got slammed <laughs> to the floor by my collar by the guy swinging it one-handed and then he stomped on my face. But uh, it was a really cool thing about, not really cool, but it's like uh, an interesting tidbit about Kiryu. You play as a bunch of characters in these games. Oh, right, okay. You know, like, Kiryu is the only person in the game who is strong enough to lift up motorcycles or lift people ah. up like, and just throw them around like they're nothing. Yeah, yeah. Except for another guy called Tiger Sajima. Who's like the only reason he can is because he's like taller and wider than Kiryu, <laughs> and he is like known as like this huge mountain man who goes and fights grizzly bears to train. Oh my god! So he's basically Mr. Shakedown, and the re and it's just re it shows how strong Kiryu is that he's the only person in the games who can lift up super heavy weapons yeah. other than him. So he's like, I'll train you if you beat people up. I've already got all his moves, so it's fine. 
I'm going to go help him because, yeah. So otherwise he would have got shot. He's probably dead. And I, I can't stand by and just let him get shot in the face. I'll come by one day, he's got a knife in his room. It's like, no! <laughs> How ironic that this would happen to you. Oh, god damn it. Every time I'm walking down the street, I was getting attacked. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh... Oh, god, where's the producer? Right, so... This is a great mission, but I'm going to let you choose if you do it or not. Okay. So I'll let you choose the side missions depending on how far you want to go into the story, because this one is amazing. Uh... So you look at the producer. And he's someone who stay calm. While they're taking all the crap of the dress dishes out. They're going aura of toughness. A guy who can command respect just by being in the room. Uh... Okay, well, Carl, I'll tell you right now what I want to do. Side <laughs> <laughs> My favourite reason they're talking about this, and then, are you ready? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that! That aura of unassailable authority. That faint hint of danger. Oh my god. Into our lives. <laughs> oh, saviour! I mean, you, sir. <laughs> the cool aura, the magnificent <laughs> poise. So, I just wanted to say sup to everything. I always like squalling. <laughs> just like, just dot, dot, dot. Sup, man. May I have a minute? Production crew for a TV show. Yeah. Shooting a short segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man and we're desperate. Also, you us? Can you use, like, why do you want me? Oh, because you're like a male fucking model. Yeah, and you're super tough yeah. and beef. And all of that magnificent, you don't actually have to do anything. Just stand there and look off at it. Your aura is so bright, it's dazzling. <laughs> but to be fair, when I'm in fights, I do have an aura of yeah, like, that's purple true. sex energy that flows around me. We're deadly sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Helping on a TV show. I guess that's something everyone gets to experience. They aren't kidding about being desperate. Should I help? We'll help out. Yeah. We'll help I, out, Carl. I'm just going to give like one hint, Lucas. Every single side mission in this game is <laughs> fucking hilarious. We <laughs> should do all of them. Yeah. If, if we encounter them, we should do them. But that's Yeah, let's not hunt out every single one. There, which you can, and it'll take all day. But if we happen upon them... It's just funny because I like the idea I'm walking down the street. So this is Kawaguchi. He's a cameraman. No, I ain't kidding you. What am I supposed to do? And do you know why we do this mission? No, no. Right. I love that laugh. <laughs> All producers do is act high and mighty. It's a total fluff job. Oh man, I bet the producers in the room when I wrote this one. <laughs> so the other reason we're doing this mission. Go on. Because they're going to change my clothes. Oh yeah. Are you, Lucas, you're not ready. Oh, no. Oh, oh look at that! Dear you. Look at that! Lucas, you weren't ready. That is, like... Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't want to see Kiryu like this. Did you, know, you did. You used to kill you, you didn't know you wanted. Is that not amazing? Right. You only wear this outfit for this mission. Yeah. You literally... It's one time. Now, there's a mission in the sixth game where you have to dress up like a mascot. Oh, and you, wear a, awesome. you wear a full mascot costume and you get into a fist fight wearing it. Oh, man. It's fucking amazing. Kind of a diva, so some weird stuff, but try to set him off and you'll be fine. Mm. But I'll see what I can do. He's just wearing this outfit like, oh, I'm not so sure now. Right, so, Lucas, you are in charge of all of the prompts. Basically, these side bitches are all just pick the right prompt. Oh, okay. Right, so we should be here any minute now. Oh. Director's here. Here he comes. You, Sam, try to act natural. Got it. So beat the shit out of him then. No, what, what was the. Well, that's Q's acting natural. What was our prompt here? It was flamboyant with an air of authority. <laughs> so I'm going to be the director, you're going to be Kiryu. Ciao, my lovelies! <laughs> Good morning, Mori Chan. Yeah, don't ever change, Mori Chan, I'm counting you today. Bling, bling, cha ching, baby. Oh, God. I am owning this. Look at that smile. <laughs> What in blazers? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my leader chan? S -s Sorry, leader chan called in sick this morning. Kiryu's on here, we'll be sending him today. Kiryu, never heard of it. He hit the real deal, baby. I'm getting a real, like, Austin Powers vibe of this dude. <laughs> but I can't do any accents, so unfortunately I can just be more excited. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognise him. Very well then. C'est uh, la vie. I do know that one. I do know that. I was saying. I was gonna say. C'est la vie. No, c'est la vie. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight. Capiche? Squall. Curious, <laughs> <laughs> Sam. It's that director. 
Papillion Ketosam. I don't know how to pronounce that, so fuck it, I'm Ketosam. I'm Kiryu. Good to me. That's not great. He's stiff. As stiff as... No, wait. Um, he's a, he's stiff as a stiff. You drag this guy out of the river, boys? Guess it is. Go on. Your internal what thoughts? Say is true. People in the television business do seem to be pretty sharp. This guy's irritating, but I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. Uh -huh. Is a problem, Kiryu? If you can't return a simple greeting, your history in this biz, lad. Because a proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? And here's the choice. <laughs> oh, God. Now, Lucas. I there, see one thing right now. There is no option that is in... Like, <laughs> we will pass the mission regardless, but based on performance, you might get stuck at the end of it. But we know what line I'm going for. Get Goofy. Yeah, God, yeah. Get Goofy, Lucas. When in Rome, I guess. I have <laughs> to do this right. Um, uh, uh. Hey. Hey, Papi Chan. Let's get this shoot rolling so we can wrap before <laughs> my next meeting. Chop, chop, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I love it! Didn't expect that from you, Kiryu Chan, but I dig it. It saves me bada bing, bada pig. I guess that went well. <laughs> why are you saying, why is his internal <laughs> thoughts just depressed? Why is Kiryu's internal thoughts just ER? Oi, oi. So, anyway, where's that babbling bit of window dressing? She's on deck for our dining report. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? I don't like this direction you're taking with Kiryu. <laughs> Please reconsider, Lucas. About that, our reporter, um, uh, Nagasawa-san, is running a little bit late. Hey. hey! Why the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent. You did that, didn't you? Sorry, you got a bit angry there, so I got a bit angry. Sorry, I forgot her schedule uh, in time. She's on her way right now. You incompetent imbecile. If we go over in time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Mori, but the shit doesn't cut the fucking mustard. Sorry, I had lived. <laughs> I was getting into character. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This director. Stop this. <laughs> I don't like this. Be, be less that. What a change from the cheesy goofball. <laughs> Why change from the cheesy goofball a few seconds ago? Guy's got one short fuse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she comes. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm late. No problem, my baby doll. We got patient and a pie. Oh, we were patient as a pie. Ooh la la, don't you look ravishing today? <laughs> Oh, Kato-san, don't be silly. Okay, gang, let's get this party started. I don't know that one. Sibu play. Sibu play. Oh, that's how you say that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's how you spell that. Okay, Sibu play. Hey! Well, you have just been We're in, learning, Carl. You have just been in Disneyland Paris. So I have just been in France, yeah. Oh, God, that camera looks so bit heavy. Fantastico! To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Oi. Mon Dieu! What the hell is this? Where is that erasable? Sorry, we'll, we'll get it. This is that porn music in the background. I'm turning it up. <laughs> I've turned it up so Lucas can hear the porn music. Uh, sorry, Kiryu Chisan, can you grab the erasable from the table over there and bring it over? Erasable? I can check what's on the table. That's a start. Sure, hold on. I'm not gonna help you with these, Lucas. You are Kiryu now. I mean, get... he didn't get goofy anymore. No, He's get... just gone back to normal Kiryu. Get into character. There are some pretty random things on this table. Which one do I take? Just the knife. <laughs> Unraisable must have something to do with the props. So what should we take? Uh, What's the erasable? I think they're trying to trick me with the a word eraser. Yeah, okay. I want to say, I think it's wrong, but for the laugh, I want to take the knife. Okay. Just take the massive fucking knockoff <laughs> knife. The erasable is. <laughs> Got this. It. So these missions are amazing. Like the writing is just so fucking on point. Right. Hey, I brought the erasable. You set it on the table. She sat, stabs so she sat there ready for lunch. She put a fucking knife in front of the Lucas. <laughs> Careful, Kiryu Sam. What are you doing with that knife? <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, like, you can use it to erase whoever you need to. Look at the smile on his face. He thinks he did it right. <laughs> Whoa, man, that got dark. That jagged from another line of work entirely. What? Oh, what? that's you. Was I wrong? So in showbiz, an erasable is a prop. That's I figured easy. it would be the, the thing. Is though, yeah. I didn't know this, and I learned it from this mission. Yeah, I know, yeah. I learned some actual TV jargon. That is cool. I, I figured it was the food. Amateurs, I'm surrounded by amateurs. Get it to fucking gather, Lucas. 
damn. I held up the shoot. And so we can't fail this mission, but we might lose something.